killing me! Get the fuck out of my room! I'm playing- The Sims 4. <laughs> Let me start off by saying that I mean business about coming off as neutral as possible when it comes to this topic. That's why there's probably some like cute music in the background to counteract the more serious tone of this video, you know? So today we are going to be talking about the Game Changers program and how it is trash and toxic and anything pointless while I do my makeup because <laughs> I haven't done my makeup yet today. So kill two birds with one stone. Brought to you by the non-Game Changers program. <laughs> oh my God. I might not even end up posting this if I'm being honest. I'm a little scared. Mom, can, can you pick me up? I'm scared. Also, if you think that I'm going to be dragging your favorite simmer or a content creator you don't like, then you best exit because that's not gonna happen. Not today, no thank you. This is strictly and only about the Game Changers program. And to be fully, fully, fully transparent, I have applied once before back in the good old days. It was like a couple of years ago and she got denied. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're- And if I'm being completely, completely honest, I probably was really salty at the time. I didn't show it. I'm not like over here ranting on Twitter like some other weirdos but like but kept my chin up you know like you do when you get rejected about anything like as normal people do and then move on move on with your life but in hindsight I'm actually happy that I didn't get accepted because for my first topic <laughs> we're gonna talk about how toxic it is to be a game changer Honestly, my eyebrows are trash my brush for my brow has completely yeeted itself and like I can't get a fine precise brow anymore. I'm so mad and I don't want to buy another one because I'm cheap. Anyways, the internet is toxic. It's already toxic to begin with. So uh, no surprise there, but it's like a double edged sword to be a game changer. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. And a lot of simmers have talked about this where people always come at them for either being too harsh on the game and that they should be they should be grateful that they have like early access and all that or opposite of that is that they get attacked because they get it for free and they're bought by EA unless it's sponsored all their opinions are their own right and i feel like it just must be so annoying to get that in your inbox all the time like i already get a bunch of annoying comments and i'm not even a big simmer or i'm not even a game changer so i can't even imagine and then a couple years ago when the game changers program was really 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 new and no one really knew about it and it was mostly like shh people from EA sliding into those DMs and inviting people into the Game Changers program. I remember LGR got approached to do it and he said no because he didn't want his audience to think that he was being swayed or skewed in any way by EA. So he declined it. I feel like maybe he sort of knew deep down that it might bite him in the ass. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe like a sixth sense. I see future unnecessary hate from the Sims community. Playing devil's advocate just because I am on the outside looking in, I can totally see why people think that because obviously this is still a program. There are probably guidelines to being in said program. So I can understand why people don't trust when it comes from EA Games. Challenge everything. Y'all know that coming from like EA, the Game Changers program, it's all for publicity. It's all to get the word of mouth out there. Even bad press is still good press. Everybody knows this, clout in the end is still clout. So the more they get this out there, the better it is for them, even if it is negative. And so this program is kind of like disguised as being some kind of like sneak peek for you guys. And then you guys can give the community feedback. And then that way it could bring game changing things to the game when in reality it's none of that because it's just an ad. It's just an ad. You're being bamboozled into thinking that's what that is when it's really is basically just to get free promotion out there so that people just know about their game. And it's taken me a while to come to that conclusion, not gonna lie, but a spade is a spade. And let's talk about the game-changing like title of this program, which is people 
who will bring, I'm guessing, game-changing um, feedback. They're supposed to represent the community and what we think and where things need to be better, where things are good, what we like. And if the program was working correctly, then by my calculations, according to my calculations, skin tones should have been fixed the first go around, right? About skin tones where they added a few more and they were garbage. So we know it can work. We know they sometimes do listen. We know that sometimes we do get what we want. But for the most part, things come too slow, too late, not at all. Babies, cars, more life generations gameplay for like the different age stages, you know? actually evolving worlds. I think we would have been seeing that a long time ago if the Game Changers program was actually working properly the way that it should. But instead, yes, because I'm still really mad about Star Wars, we get things like Star Wars, huh? That makes no sense. I don't remember hearing any Game Changer talk about that. <laughs> I don't remember the community ever asking for that, except for maybe those 2,000 people that voted for Star Wars in that one poll. Maybe you guys. That was at the bottom of the list, so clearly they're not listening. Clearly this program is not working. It's not adding up. Why? <laughs> So yeah, I stand by what I said. Game Changers is basically just free advertising. And it's not like The Sims is the only one with the Game Changers program. There have been issues within other communities with the Game Changers program. It's not just The Sims. I guarantee you. I guarantee you it's not just us. I swear, I wish I had an even tan. Like, look at my arms and how much darker they are than my face. Make it make sense. It doesn't make sense. I hate it. <laughs> Wish I had an even toad, like even skin toad. Huh? I've always had this issue. I don't know why. And now I'm not going to bash anybody, a creator or a simmer, but I will say that the only time they are biased is when things are sponsored, obviously, because you're being paid by it, a brand or it happens everywhere. All of your favorite YouTubers do it, but they're being sponsored to say positive things to then promote, promote product in exchange for cash. So at one point or another, a game changer has been brought an offer to promote their product for money. And that shouldn't skew their opinion about the game overall it would be a little stupid to think that it doesn't slightly skew their opinion just a little bit simmers and like game changers program should be simmers first and game changers second makes sense just in case you didn't know that that should be the case i'm not however gonna act like i know the ins and outs of this program but there is clearly a hierarchy just because of in the past couple months we've seen a lot of people from like the tumblr side of things leave the game changers program so there's clear to see that there's a bias i'm a youtuber so i can definitely see this but the youtuber simmers definitely get more preferential treatment than the other like i feel like it's youtube streamers and then definitely the dumb tumblr people and then maybe the origin like the people who build on origin people like last probably <laughs> maybe there are twitter game changers too i think i'm sure i'm i'm peg them all at the bottom all at the bottom the caucasity under my eyes but it makes sense in the end they're still a company this program is still for the company obviously the most clout goes to youtube youtube is the biggest platform twitch second so on and so on you know everyone else at the bottom so going in thinking the game changers program is gonna be like fair to you just because you make it in i feel like a lot of people might think this going in i don't think it is i don't think i don't believe so and it sucks but like i said already it's still a company it's still a program for the company for so whoever can get them the most clout for the game whether good or bad that's where they're headed. That's where they're gonna go. Because the people who get early, early access are always the big people. The people on top that get the most engagement or have the most views or have the most subs. That's the way it is. Also, I feel like there are probably deadlines when it comes to early access. And that's another issue that I have with early access is because there is so much limited time. It seems like simmers, 
might be more prone to missing certain things. And like, don't get me started on the Sims game. Like who vets the game? Like who looks through the game before it gets released? Because you need to hire somebody. All these glitches, all these bugs, especially with Moschino stuff pack, university, go lifestyle. So many games that have come out, Realm of Magic and those missing like doors and roofs, textiles. Like who is making sure things are good and play testing it so there's no bugs, glitches? Like who is that? Because it feels like you're, you are relying way too much on the game changers. I bet don't have that much time to really sit down, play the game, because most of the times we either just get cast overviews, item overviews, and the gameplay is just like takes a backseat. It always feels like that's the case. It's honestly more rare to find people who do like full on reviews of the whole game than the clear abundance that there is of all like the cast and the items all that so i feel like there's maybe not enough time to let these simmers really get their hands on it and play it through because the amount of glitches that go like nobody ever mentions them in this program or at least it feels like no one mentions them maybe a handful might catch them but it's never big enough to really be like oh yeah be cautious this dlc pack might go break your game like it did mine like it did for eco is it eco lifestyle eco living something i don't know but it was so unplayable like if no one at ea caught the issues a few of the game changers caught the issues then like what the heck all the systems in place just they didn't do their job <laughs> this highlighter is brighter than the sims future <laughs> if anybody is listening at ea i need you to give the kids more time to put their videos together please I know time is money but like a billion dollar corporation you can spare maybe a day or two right and because they are given so much limited time I assume I'm assuming it makes it feel like the game is better than it is like game changers are reacting a little bit more positively than they should Sometimes they can't read the room right and because of lack of time I feel like there's only a few simmers that I feel I actually trust will give me the nitty gritty of the situation and it's a few and I'm not saying that they're biased, they're bought, they're like all that. I just think with the limited time and they just got to pump out these videos, it's just a lot harder. And then there's so many great simmers in the Game Changers program who have voiced their opinion so many times about what it is we want, what we need. Oh my goodness. I don't know why they're not being listened to. They are the advocates of us. <laughs> So if they're not listening to us, they're not listening to them, then what is the point? What is the point? Tell me. I would like to know. Someone make it make sense to me. Because it's not working, EA. Your Game Changers program is not working. Why? Because it's a glorified ad. Good press, bad press. Let's call it how it is. That's what the situation is. And I'm calling you out on it. I, I don't see the point. I don't see the point. Okay, and then last one. This mine off obviously is gonna be for everybody. But I'm talking to the people that create content on The Sims online. And I'm not gonna lie. It does hurt the ecosystem for smaller creators because the people who get early access, obviously everyone's gonna flood to them to go see it. Anybody who comes up with the same content afterwards, like trying to review it, it hurts you. It hurts you because people have already seen it. Like what else is there to be said? Like I don't understand why people get early access. The rest of the game changers get early access, but later and then the, all the rest of us <laughs> are the last to get it. And then by then nobody cares. Obviously that's not always the case. I'm not gonna lie like, uh, if people are subscribed to you and they're there to watch you, they're because they're there to watch you. It doesn't matter if it's late, stale tea, but not as many people care as they would, you know? So that's not really that crazy. That's why I saved this one for last, but I will say it does hurt the ecosystem. Does hurt the ecosystem for a smaller 
but that's always the case with anything so I don't really hold that one that like so much weight honestly because that's the case anywhere it happens with beauty gurus it happens with people who do go to early screenings for movies and have reviews out like it's for anything so again I don't hold that one with so much like I just wanted to add that in it does hurt us but all in the name of capitalism then I guess it's fine <laughs> I don't know why but I feel like it's a kilo sunrise now if I'm gonna be critical obviously we're gonna need some solutions for this and my first suggestion would honestly be to give game changers more time to work on things give them I don't like I said I don't know what what their timeline looks like when they get early access I have no clue I'm just going off speculation uh, when it comes to simmers when they're like pre-recording a lot of videos when they post that usually an inkling that they probably got early access and so from the time they post that to the time videos go up it doesn't seem like a lot of time so maybe more time would be nice. If I was living in a perfect world, I would just say get rid of the whole program because honestly, it doesn't come off as authentic anymore. Obviously it doesn't work. That's why also doesn't contribute to the authenticity. If this isn't working, then what is the point? Like, what is the point of doing this, you know? So in a perfect world, I'd just get rid of the whole dang program. It's trash anyways. And instead, give access to different mix of simmers every time, cause why not? Like back in the day when, I think the before the Game Changers program, LGR was from time to time given early access to the pack so he could review them. And even he was shocked because like most of the time he's really not that positive about the stuff that The Sims 4 has put out, which even he found shocking, which again, makes me really trust people that are not like hating on something, but don't like something and can say X, Y, Z to hopefully better the game. Oh no, I think I messed up my eyeliner. I did. <gasps> Oh, this side came out so good and this side is trash i hate it i hate life it's because i was talking while i was doing this is what i get for talking while i'm doing my eyeliner because usually they come out so bomb so i played myself thanks game changers program no i'm just kidding we're done with the glam process of this video and love the way it came out i like a bunch of makeup so on one final note EA, just listen to the community, listen to your game changers. They're obviously there to help. I don't know why it's taken so long, especially years when it comes to the skin tones to finally be addressed. Uh, even your own game changer, Xavier Mira has made her own melanin pack. That should have been uh, like, like a newsflash, red alert, do something about this ages ago. But as of right now, I don't trust EA, I don't trust the program, and you're hurting your own Zimmers, so. And then for full transparency, I don't think I'll ever apply to be a game changer. I like to say what I wanna say, when I wanna say it, whether negative, positive, blunt, and I don't think they'd ever take my ass, TBH. Nor should they have to, it is what it is. So with all that being said, you can follow me on all these other social media platforms. Go ahead and peruse, peruse. I'll catch you all in my next video. So bye for now. Happy simming.